What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. I just wanted to make a quick video which is kind of a preview for what is going to be coming up because we are hitting the road, uh, me and a few friends and Aaron, my girlfriend, to go to Nutmeg Nor'easter, which is a ride in Connecticut um, put on by Ronnie Romance, who you may know from Ultra Dynamico Tires or Ron's Bags. So it's kind of a gravel event. He's calling it the Alt Gravel World Championships. So there's a number of routes you could ride. Um, so we're heading out there, there'll be two days of camping, but since Connecticut's kind of a hike, we're turning it into a longer trip. So tomorrow morning, we will all be gathering and then driving to Syracuse, New York. When we get to Syracuse, the plan is to ride the Erie Canal um, towpath trail or something like that. I'm hoping to get kind of a longer, longish ride in, maybe 50 miles to the next town over. Saw there's a brewery with wood-fired pizza there. So then in the morning, we'll be heading to the spot of the event in Kentucky, the farm there. And so then there'll be some hanging out Friday night. There's some, I think there's some uh, lectures and there's food. And then Saturday morning will be the ride. I think we're doing a ride that's about 40 miles and over 3,000 feet of elevation. I think it's actually closer to 4,000. There's a couple uh, brewery and a cidery stop along the way. There's a harder ride that's more like 65 miles with over 6,000 feet of elevation, which really interests me. But I'm thinking it'll be more cool to be able to hang out with the group and a bunch of us to ride together. So after that, Sunday, there's a race on Sunday afternoon there at the farm. And in the morning, Erin is actually gonna go take off to see her friend in Boston. And me and Ben, also known as Large Marge, are actually gonna hit the road on our bikes. We are gonna to head to Hartford, Connecticut, where we have a hotel booked, so that's about a 30 mile ride for us to get there. And then in the morning, we're gonna continue on about another 30 miles to my friend um, from high school, Pat's house. So on Monday, we'll end up spending the day with my friend Pat. He's gonna show us around, I'm gonna get to catch up with him, see his family, spend the night at his house. On Tuesday, we're riding all the way south to the coast where we've booked an Airbnb. The direct route would be 60 some miles. We still need a plan a route that's gonna be like really cool, you know, so we could do the back roads, bike trails, whatever works out best. So it might end up, well, I'm sure it will end up being a little farther than that. So then on Wednesday morning when we get up, we are gonna ride and pick a rendezvous point with Erin. So on our way back from Boston, she can pick us up and take us home. But I thought I'd go through with what I'm bringing on this trip and uh, close the video out with that. So. So I will be riding my Rally Tamland too. I just got the wheels, uh, Velocity wheels rebuilt. Um, I just kind of really beat them up and they needed it. Same hubs, but new wheels. Um, I'll be riding that probably for the two day rides tomorrow in Syracuse and then for the actual ride um, with my Swift Industry Catalyst bag on the back. This bag's perfect day bag. You know, I've got all my tools in there, a small lock, stuff like that. If I pick up any beer, any couple, you know, like a wind jacket, extra layers, be perfect for that. For when me and Ben hit the road, I've got the Zeitgeist, which I'll probably add by throwing on the handlebars, and that'll be a few extra layers since I'll have a few days of riding. And it's kind of gonna be interesting because prime riding time, the weather's gonna be decent, like around 60, but in the evenings, late or late at night it'll be like down to the mid 30s so you know got some wool wool cap wool gloves uh down jacket that packs up really good i also have a chrome jacket that packs up or a chrome vest that packs up really nice uh this bag will be on my back that'll have the camera that i'm currently holding right now a microphone um nd filter you know extra batteries the GoPro stuff will go somewhere that I can access it really quick. This is a really nice leather strap for this camera that's just a hand strap. So when I'm shooting while I'm riding, I don't drop my camera. As I mentioned, GoPro stuff, the extra batteries um, to recharge stuff if I don't get to a power outlet when I'm on the road. This is my laptop and audio interface and cables that are associated with that. The idea is we might try and stream from the Airbnb in Syracuse tomorrow. On the clothing front, it's kind of nice since we're doing a couple day rides and we'll have a car, I could kind of overpack. I'm not going to really bring this many socks, though I do always overpack socks because I hate wet feet. So, but I'm, I need to go through this as I start to get it together. Some cotton shirts to sleep in, but mostly I am bringing wool, 
and um, layers like that, wool leggings, wool base layers, because wool retains, um, it's, wool is able to keep you warm even when it gets damp, so I think that's important. These are some spacers for the Zeitgeist to keep it off my handlebars a little bit. Always some plastic bags, you know, bike lights, bike computer. You know, we got the GPX file now for the route, so we know where we're going. This is my lightweight wind jacket, raffle wind jacket that I wear for absolute everything. <laughs> I love it. And then uh, I just picked up this rain jacket from them on sale as well. So I think that's what I'm gonna bring with me. And like I said, I can overpack a little bit because Erin will be able to take in her car the stuff that I don't wanna put on the bike. And so I'll be able to assess Sunday morning exactly what I need. So yeah, that's it for now. Just a quick video, I just thought I'd um, get something out there for Monday because I always like to have an upload on Monday and unfortunately our power was out all day yesterday in Cuyahoga Falls so I just couldn't get to the stuff that I really had planned to create for while I was gone. It's unfortunate but that's the way it goes sometimes. But so I'm thinking there'll be at least a few videos from this trip you know I'm not sure how it'll work out yet but probably the actual you know Nutmeg Nor'easter event will be its own video. There might be one from Syracuse and then maybe a third one of me and been on the road as we travel and uh, credit card tour as they like to call it um, the rest of Connecticut that's one term that some people use derogatory and I don't think it needs to be my most popular video on all of YouTube is about you know that anyone could go cycle touring again this is vacation and this is how we're choosing to travel because what the weather situation looks like you never need to be shamed for how you want to spend your vacation on your bike do it how you want to do it so yeah i can't wait to go have a good time hopefully and then share some of the footage with you all till then i will see you in the next video